my channel so if you are new my name is Chelsea and today we're going to be doing a JLo inspired look. This is from the 2015 Oscar Awards so if you want to see how to get this really nice JLo kind of spring look then please do keep on watching. I do have a foundation routine that I will link down below. It is my Bobbi Brown Skin Foundation and NARS Copacabana mixed together on a damp beauty blender. the skin done. Now I'm going to go with my two favorite eye primers, Urban Decay Primer Potion and Lime Crime Eyeshadow Helper. So now I'm just going to take some powder and put this over my eyelids. So for the eyeshadow, I'm actually going to be using the blush I'm going to be applying. This is Max Warm So, which is one of my all-time favorites. It's kind of that peachy, kind of orangey color that she has in the picture. So I'm going to be taking this color. This is a Sigma E25 blending brush. And I'm going to be putting this into the crease. Tapping off the excess and going right in with this color. taking this color from MAC. This is from a limited edition collection so I am sorry but any kind of yellow shimmery color will work. This is soft force from MAC. I'm going to be taking the MAC 217 and putting this on the lid. Then we're going to go back and blend some more. Now I'm going to be highlighting the brow bone with this Neutrogena color. It's just like a flesh tone color. You can even use your face powder for this. Now I'm just taking this on a flat shader brush, tapping off the excess, and putting this on the brow bone. Same for the other eye. Now before we finish the bottom eyeshadow, I want to be taking my under eye concealer. This is the Magic Lumi in the lightest color. And I'm going to be putting this right under my eye. And if my eyeshadow kind of got a little bit lower, I'm just going to sharpen it up just a little bit. But we're still wanting to keep this look very rounded. I'm just going to be setting the under eye concealer with the Make It Forever HD powder and my Sigma Large Fluff E50 brush. Now for the lower lash line, I'm going to be taking Warm Soul again with the E25 brush and placing this on the lower lash line, kind of smoking this color out. Keeping this look very rounded, you can kind of go back up into that crease and blend a little bit more. Now it also looks like she had some color in the inner waterline, like a nude color or kind of a yellowy tone color. So I'm going to be using the Scandal Eyes in the color Nude on the inner portion of my eye. This is going to help open the eye and make the eye look larger and brighter. Now I'm going to be taking the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner in Trooper. So I'm just going to be taking my eyeliner and drawing a very straight line all the way across the eye. There's not going to be any flick to this, it's just going to be thin then when you get to the outer corner it's going to be a little bit thicker. So now that that is done I'm going to be taking my eyelash curler, curling my eyelashes, putting on some mascara. This is the Kat Von D Immortal Lash. I've been trying this out too and so far I've been really liking it. Same with the tattoo liner. I've been really liking that as well. So 
Sophie, why don't you can kind of stop here if the eyes, but I want to go in and use some red cherry lashes. These are number 62. Like JLo is wearing fake eyelashes, so that is exactly what I'm going to do. I do have a video on how you apply fake eyelashes that I will link down below as well. on I'm going to go back in with my liner and just cover that lash band. Now since JLo is known for that glow you're going to be taking the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This one is in the shade Opal. It's just a really nice bronze shade and I'm going to be taking that on my Real Techniques blush brush and putting this right through the cheeks. And then it does look like she has some on the temples of her forehead, so that is exactly what we're going to do. She does have a little bit on the chin and under the chin a little bit and then a little bit on the nose. Now to get that lit from within kind of look, we are going to be taking the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and I'm going to be using that middle shade right here since I am more pale. And I'm going to be taking that on a Real Techniques multi-purpose brush. And I'm going to be putting this, you can put this all over your face if you want, but I want to be putting this on the high points of my cheekbones and the high points of my face. And now for the fun part, we are going to do the lips. So since I do have that Aquaphor on, I'm going to be taking a little bit of a tissue and just kind of wiping this off. So something to make the lipstick and lip gloss. Hold on to the lips. I'm going to be using just a clear lip liner. If you kind of have that cool tone hot pink, definitely use that. This is just going to help the lipstick stay in place. Now for lips, I'm going to start out by using this MAC Tender Tone. Um, this is in the color Lazy Sunday. MAC doesn't have this anymore because it was in a limited edition collection. But they do have the cream blush that is called Lazy Sunday. It's the exact color that you can use that you could possibly use on your lips to get this color. The Lady Gaga lipstick is actually a really similar color if you do have that. So I'm just going to use my finger and we're going to put this on the lips. I'm in love with this color. I'm going to be taking the Pro Longwear Lip Glass in the color Love Love Love. So now to finish the skin, I'm going to be using this Smashbox Primer Water. And I've been kind of testing this out as well. I think it's really similar to the MAC Flex Plus so far. But I love the smell of it, so I'm going to be misting this all over the face. Because we did use some powders and this is going to make the skin look like skin again. So this is the final look. Thank you for watching. I hope you learned something today and I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you do, please do take the time to subscribe, like, comment, and even share this video to family and friends. I would really appreciate it. Also, make sure you check the description box down below. I'm going to have all the products I used and places where you can follow me on social media sites like my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and things like that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you back next time. Bye.